Ooh, pound your fist. Pack. We use a shoe like Kruschev. Well, we can get by with that. You can use your phone. <laughs> <laughs> So I'd like to call to order the uh, February, I mean, January 22nd, uh, 2015, Scarborough Sanitary District meeting. Um, let's start with the roll call. Um, let's see. Let's see here tonight. Rick, uh, Nick Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Nico is here. Uh, how about Rob McSorley? Holding down the right wing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Seth Garrison. Here. And I'm Ben Biola. Uh, Jason Greenleaf, Dave Nelson, and Charlie Andresen have been excused for the night. Um, with that, we'll move on to the next item. Uh, approval of, of uh, December 18, 2014, regular monthly meeting. Motion to approve. Of the minutes. Second. Any corrections? I just said that one on the... The permit. The permit. Mm -hmm. It's just the the acronym for the permit is, is different. We can get together on that and I can correct it. Uh, next item, uh, superintendent's operations report. Um, copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of December is included in your packet. Our average effluent flow for the month was 1.78 million gallons per day. Our effluent quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 95% BOD removal and 98% total suspended solids removal uh, with effluent concentrations of 8 milligrams per liter and 4 milligrams per liter respectively. Attached is the annual uh, Summary of our operations, last year we treated 501 million gallons of wastewater. In 2013, we treated 429. In 2012, we treated 431,000, um, from which we removed 95 to 96% of the BOD and TSS. Uh, note that we treated a significant increase in wastewater in 2014. I am currently um, pulling together all the pump station flow data uh, to see if I can isolate where that flow is, additional flow is coming from. It, it uh, averages out to about 200,000 um, uh, gallons a day or uh, about 130 gallons per minute. So it's a significant increase that is well beyond what we, uh, I would have anticipated due to the actual uh, internal growth of uh, connections. Attached is an annual report on our composting operations. Last year we ge regenerated um, 3,072 cubic yards of compost. In 2013 we generated 3,044 cubic yards. And in 2012 it was 3,392 cubic yards. Um, <clears throat> pump station flows, a copy of uh, the flow data is, uh, for the month of December is included in your packet. There were no issues that were noted. Um, this past year, there were a total of 12 events of plugged pumps at our pump stations, uh, which is consistent with uh, the year prior. Of those uh, 12 events, one has been, um, was caused by uh, the quote-unquote flushable wipe, so our educational program seems to be continuing to work on that, and people are being prudent on not flushing those flushable wipes. Um, uh, for the for about the past two months, we've been pilot testing a new chlorine residual analyzer to replace our HOC CL17. Unfortunately, the new unit did not work in, in our situation, and we had to return it. Today, I attended a training slash refresher course for the annual Tier 2 submittal, which is a means to provide information to both state and local fire department with regards to our chemical inventory. Rudy passes grade two wastewater treatment license. Um, I'll be sending Rudy um, to a three-day NASCO certifi certified training program for a pipeline manhole and lateral assessment. This training will aid us uh, as we further develop our asset management program. And uh, with regards to our aeration blower maintenance, Carl Tucker recently conducted the routine maintenance on the aeration tank blowers, during which he found the blowers to be in much better condition than he anticipated. He attributed this to the slower speeds that the blowers have been running at due to our recent upgrades and enhancements with regards to automation. 
And that is what I have with regards to the superintendent's report. Any questions for the superintendent? Rob. Uh, David, I, I noticed you know, on the annual lab report where it to shows the total gallon septic received, mm -hmm. we have that big slug that happens in April, mm -hmm. and you were going to, uh, I believe, discuss that with the, uh, I think it's Bailey's. Mm -hmm. um, any, any news on that, or have we done anything? Yeah, they'll be um, making other arrangements this coming spring. Other arrangements? <laughs> yeah, there's... Um, uh, <coughs> A lo local, well, there's another place that he can discharge it, and it actually is going to be the same cost, if not a little cheaper, for him to go that route. Okay, so we won't see a big slug. Correct. Okay. okay. Any other questions? Nick? Um, looking at the pump station flows, uh, I was curious about Higgins Beach past month, you mentioned that we're getting excessive flows or more than we had in 2013. Mm -hmm. um, Oops. Some of the flow down at Higgins Beach during these storms, is it seawater that's overtopping some of the roads getting into our system? It, you know, going down there during the storm events, I, it hasn't been noted. Uh, seawater has not been noted okay. being overtopping and flooding the roads. I mean, during this time of year, you might get a bunch of snow melt when the snow trapping rainwater and you're getting the snow melt on the roads, which um, you get a lot of the inflow through the manholes that are underwater yep. in those cases, um, but not, not seawater. All set, Nick? Yeah, that's it. That's all right. Awesome. <clears throat> so, Excuse no further questions. We'll move on to correspondence. No correspondence this month. O old business. Uh, no old business. And then we'll move on to new business. Foster Farms Subdivision 2. On behalf of uh, Habitat for Humanity of Greater Portland, Northeast Civil Solutions is requesting district approval to connect and discharge into the sewer the wastewater from the proposed Foster Farm Subdivision 2 consisting of 13 single-family homes loaded, located off Broad Turn Road. The subdivision will be serviced by a pressure sewer system and discharged into a proposed gravity sewer to be built by the Town of Scarborough. The proposed gravity sewer has already been approved by the district. Uh, the subdivision consists of 13 single-family residential dwelling units on 13 lots, 830 linear feet of pressure sewer, and one manhole and sewer service to, to each of the 13 lots. The pressure sewer and manholes within the public right-of-way will be transferred over to the sanitary district upon completion of the project. I recommend approval with the following conditions. The project is outside the original sewer service area. The capacity reserve fee is based on a single-family residential dwelling unit without accessory units. Any additional homes, dwelling units, or accessory units in excess are of this uh, subject to additional approvals and capacity reserve fees. The current capacity reserve fee per home is $2,888.70 and it is adjusted monthly based on the ENR construction cost index. Based on the current ENR, the total capacity reserve fee due for the 13 dwelling units is $37,553.13. Uh, this fee is due prior to the issuance of the sewer extension permit. A copy of the recorded subdivision plan shall be provided to the district in both paper and electronic format. Final plan signed and stamped by a licensed professional engineer submitted to the superintendent for approval prior to issuance of the permits. Uh, sewer extension permit is required. A complete application and associated fee should be su submitted to the district prior to any sewer extension work. And sewer permits are required for each house. A complete application and associated fee shall be submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed. Prior to that permit being executed, no site sewer work shall be completed. Installation shall be um, inspected and approved by the district. And finally, professionally surveyed electronic georeference CAD drawing stamped PDF of the CAD drawings, um, stamped paper copy to be submitted to the district upon completion of the project. And that is Move approval, Mr. Chairman. Do we have a second? Second. <coughs> Any comments on the? Uh, for the, for the superintendent? I had one question. In, uh, 
It's a letter from Lee Allen. It talks about 450 gallons per day per <coughs> Per home. Mm -hmm. Is that the number we're using? No. Um, we use 200 gallons per day per home for same family home. Is, uh, is how we calculate our, our um, uh, capacity reserve fee. That's in our sewer use ordinance regulations. Okay. I thought that would tie. Yeah. Rob? <coughs> um, <coughs> Looking at the plans, I think there might need to be another uh, clean out at the hard 90. What's that? Three, when, you, three, when you come in at Carpenter Court, the uh, force pane turns a hard 90. I think probably be before it makes that hard 90, you may want to have another clean out port. I'm getting it. Oh, uh, where it comes right down in the first turn? Yep. Okay. And then uh, it seems like one and a half inch is kind of small. I assume they're going to have uh, E1 to make calculations or whatnot. They've already submitted those calculations, and, and one and a half, it, it, the one and a half. Uh, is better flushing velocities for, for this size um, than on the two inch. The two inch is okay, but the velocities are actually on the, you know, they're <coughs> kind of on the lower side. So we, okay. we've looked at that. Uh, okay. Uh, Any other comments? All in favor of approval? Yeah. <coughs> I think just about everyone has a cold out there, right? Yeah. Uh, next item, uh, 12 month budget summary. No. No? No. 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 Half ton pickup truck bid. Oh, did I not have it on there? I'm sorry, we need to adjust the agenda. <laughs> Can we get a, a motion to add? So moved to add the trucks onto the agenda, both trucks. Item B and C. Item B and C. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Yes. I apologize for that. Okay. Uh, uh, item uh, B is uh, is a half done pickup truck bids. Uh, we uh, for. Truck number 25, on January 15th, we opened bids for the replacement of our inspector's truck. A total of 16 requests were sent out. Eight bids were received. The lowest net bid, uh, which includes the trade-in value, was for 17899 from Weir's Motor Sales. Our approved budget for this truck was 23000 I recommend award of this bid to Weir's Motor Sales. So moved. Second. <clears throat> so when you say 23000 that was including the trade-in or yes. was before the trade-in? 23000 was our is our budget including, including the trade-in. So <coughs> we're well within our budget. Yeah, great. Any questions? All those in favor? Uh, moving on to the next one. Item C, as an, um, the one-ton one truck bid, truck number 47. On January 15th, we opened bids for the replacement of our collection system, of our, um, yeah, our collection system truck. Total of 16 requests were sent out. Again, eight bids were received on this one. The lowest net bid, which included the trade-in value, was for $15,299. Uh, dollars and 45 cents from Ron Courier's Hilltop Chevrolet. Our approved budget for this truck uh, was uh, 38,000. The budget, uh, this budget includes monies for other items, including the installation of the radio, the utility body, which 
was not part of the bid request. I re recommend award of this bid to Run Courier's Hilltop Chevrolet. Motion to approve. Second. So I have to comment. It, <coughs> Ron, Ron Curry is Hilltop Chevrolet. Where is that located? Uh, that's in New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. and, and this will include this main state tax as well? Yeah. Well, we're exempt. Oh, we're exempt. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Any other questions? Nick? Yeah. Oh, Bob? <laughs> I can't look over there. How much of the uh, other items do you think? Budget-wise, uh, the the bed is going to be around twelve thousand um, dollars, and the other stuff are, you know, maybe a couple couple more thousand. Okay. So we're uh, with everything. We're going to still be well within our budget, line item budget for that item. We we act, the trade-in value actually for the truck is much higher than we anticipated. Good. And that really reflects in both vehicles. Actually, it reflects the uh, every. Um, uh, dealer that came in commented on the um, how well we kept the vehicles in shape, and so they they did as a result in higher trade-in values. Nice. And what was the uh, age and approximate mileage on those? Uh, the one-ton truck was, I believe, 10 years old. I think that's the. 2004, and that had around about 140,000 miles on it. Wow, that is a good trade-in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the uh, inspector truck, the uh, half-ton truck, that was a 2006, and I believe that was um, I want, that, I, that may have just turned 100,000. I don't know the numbers on that one quite. Still pretty good trade-in values. Yeah. Okay. So did we, I can't remember, did we, did we take a vote on that one? No. We have not taken a vote. Yeah. All those in favor? Uh, now, 12 month budget summary? Uh, 12 month budget summary is included in your packet. I recommend approval. We're so moved. moved. We're coming in under budget, so, for the year. Do you have a second on that? Second. Any any questions? Of, um, wow, spend a lot on legal fees, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep. Good job, David. Good job, staff. All right. All all those in favor? <coughs> so moving on to the next item: public comments. Uh, seeing no public, we'll move on to trustee comments. We'll start with Nick. Uh, congratulations to Rudy on achieving his wastewater grade two license. Hopefully everyone will stay well and we'll get over this <laughs> flu season that's been tremendous for everybody. So hopefully uh, <coughs> you'll be disease free for uh, for the rest of the flu season down at the district. So, Rob. Uh, congratulations to Rudy. Great job. Uh, really proud of you and uh, the effort you've made and whatnot. And uh, look forward to your uh, continued development. Um, for all those who keep track of the holidays, happy Valentine's Day. I uh, also want to say a shout out to um, a project that's going to be happening uh, in the Portland area, sponsored by the Tim Tebow Foundation. It's called A Night to Shine. And it's going to happen uh, on the 13th, the day before. And it's a, uh, um, a prom for uh, uh, kids with disabilities. So. That's all I got. Okay. And, uh, oh, Dave, go ahead. Um, I just wanted to... Um, Express the district's uh, deepest sympathies to the Otado family for the loss of uh, Anthony Otado. He he sat on the district board for many years, and he was um, he he was instrumental in developing the district into the high quality standards and operations that uh, that the district now continues to operate in. So I just 
the district um, really just wanted to extend their sympathies to them. Thank you, Dave. Uh, <clears throat> I also would like to extend the sympathies to uh, the Atano family and uh, also congratulate Rudy for passing his grade two operator's license. And uh, with that, we'll take a motion for So moved. Adjournment. Second. All those in favor? So we're done.